welcome to my channel. My name is Vivian. I am so happy that you are here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my short hair. A couple months ago, back in August, I cut my hair the shortest it's ever been. Literally, I think the last time I was that short was maybe high school, and that was not cute. But I got it cut. I just went for it, and honestly, I've never loved my hair more. I remember walking out of the salon just feeling so free and empowered and strong and confident and just new and that's something that I personally needed. I was holding on to so many things from the past and I just needed a fresh new start. So I went ahead and I posted it on my Instagram. The next thing I know I got a message from a girl randomly. She sent me a selfie and she told me that I inspired her to cut her hair. Um, she didn't cut like an inch or two off. This girl cut off eight inches of her hair and I remember reading that message being like, what? That is just insane. Oh my God, right? Like hair is something that is such a security blanket, something that is so, people just hold on to their hair. They never really want to change it up. But this girl did that and honestly, I was so thankful that she shared that message with me because it just, it made my day and still to this day, it makes my day. I ended up sharing it on my Instagram and next thing I know, it just became a snowball effect. Over the last couple of months, I've gotten so many messages from you guys that literally just make my heart so warm. Um, just sharing that I've inspired you to cut your hair and do something new and shake things up. So I honestly, I cannot thank you enough for sharing those messages with me. So this video is on how I curl my short hair. The same technique could actually be used if you have long hair. So don't just not watch just because you don't have long hair. Before I get started, I just want to mention that all the products I use are whey products. I use their shampoo, their conditioner, their texturizing spray, and their volume spray. I absolutely love their products. And and yeah, so let's go ahead, let's get started, and let's get that hair curled. First off, I'm just gonna let you know that I like to divide my hair up and down, and I only let out the pieces that I'm going to curl at the moment. I know some people like to let everything down and just pull out pieces. I don't work like that because I truly just like to know that every piece of my hair is getting curled. So I will go ahead and kind of just divide my hair right underneath my ears. I'll just grab my little hair clip. Perfect. So I just, I'm working with this piece right down here. Rather than prepping the whole head, I like to just take my texturizing spray and just kind of prep the pieces that I'm about to work with. Just run your hands through them. The wave sprays don't get, uh, they don't get sticky at all. So you can honestly spray as much as you want, but just a little spray here and there that way. It already has some product in it. I'm going to grab my curling iron. This is a Conair one inch. I got it at Target. I think it retails for like $20. I'll have it linked below. I'm going to just take a thin piece and I'm gonna hold my curling iron upside down and I'm going to curl away from my face just like that. I let about an inch or two stay out just so that just so that uh, I know that the ends are straight. And then once I flip the curl out, I like to just straighten it, hold it down and straighten it just so that it's not completely bouncy. All right, so then I'll move to the next piece of hair right alongside of it. And I'm going to curl this piece towards my face. So you see I'm coming around the barrel this way and I'm just doing one curl. The bottom pieces are a lot shorter than the top pieces, so I like to just do one curl around those. The top pieces uh, I'll talk about, but I like to curl a little more than that. I'll let it down, and I like to hold it down straight. All right, and then I'll flip to the other side, and I will do the same thing. If your pieces in the back are really too far away from you and it's too hard to kind of put your curling iron completely the other way. I like to just grab it and just curl it in. So my bottom layer is completely curled. I'm going to grab my texturizing spray again and just spray a little. So once you do a layer, I like to clip it. So I'm gonna take my little clip over here. I don't like to suffocate the curls that I just curled. So I'm going to just use a clip back there and then I'll let down another layer of hair and I usually like to separate it in the middle and I'm gonna continue the same technique around the whole head of hair 
uh, and then I'll meet you back at the top. So for the parts that are in the middle of your hair, I like to uh, curl them around uh, several times until there's still that two inches left at the bottom. So this one, for example, is going around once, two times, and almost a third. Okay, so now you are at the front pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these two pieces and I'm just going to tuck the rest behind my ears. These are the front two pieces that I really like to have down whenever I put my hair up or if I tuck in my hair behind my ears, maybe one or two pieces fall out, it would be these guys. So I like to really have these very subtle, almost as they are naturally, but I'm gonna give them a little curl. So I'm gonna grab my thin piece, I'm gonna hold it around just once and let it down. <laughs> Did I explain that right? Okay, but you kind of saw the technique, so I'm not wrapping it around the barrel and I'm not holding it. I literally wrap it around once and I drag my curling iron down as we do it. So let's do it again with this one. So I'm going to wrap it around my hair wide and just bring it down the front. I hope that explained it a little better, but I'm going to do the same technique also with the other pieces that are in the front. You can see that, yeah, they're pretty just very relaxed. All right, so now that you've finished curling the front pieces, you can go ahead and let the rest of the head out. This is not the final look, okay? So just go ahead and let your hair sit there for a second as I'm judging it, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my texturizing spray. This one, again, is from Way. After the texturizing spray, I'm gonna go in with my volumizing hairspray. Okay, and then lastly, another trick to get more volume to your hair is to go underneath and tease your hair under so that you are not putting oil in your roots, in your visible roots. Last thing I like to do once all that is done, I don't really like the fact that these hairs are curling into my face. I kind of want them to be more straight. So I'll go ahead and I'll just take it. I'll use my clamp for this and I'll kind of just straighten it out. All right guys, so that is my curling hair tutorial. I hope you loved it. I hope you learned a couple new things. If you use anything, please go ahead and let me know. If you try this tutorial, please let me know. If you cut your hair, please let me know. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead, comment below. You could always message me on Instagram. My handle is right here. Give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification button so anytime I upload a new video, you are aware. And I can't wait to see you next time.